You know what's scarier than Soul Eaters is not being able to control your fan. And that's the problem I got now. But I guess it could be worse. You could have no fan at all, but it's rather annoying. jam your thumb into the vent holes and pull out it'll come out pretty easy and you just follow your way down the sides and I can't stress this enough don't have the ignition on if that airbag light is unplugged I have no idea what happens but I'm sure it'll be something like what I did to this fly now that all the evidence is gone I've got a USB plug on one side instead of the cigarette lighter and then the wiper motor has its own little clip both come out pretty easy and now you realize that you don't have any tools to actually take it out, so you have to go get them now. Three weeks later. Finally back from vacation, and... That's the power of ADD. So I got a bunch of deep ball sockets, and it's a 7mm, if anybody wants to know. There's only four of them, it doesn't hold the radio in. After that, it should just slide forward. There's three connectors. The two on the outside, the clips are on top. They're easy to get to. The middle, I believe mine was melted and I struggled a lot with it. So I'm pretty sure this one melted in the dash. No idea what happened. Don't really care. We got a new one. I know the harness in the dash is a mess, but you're coming with me. All right, here's what I bought on the Jungle website. It says it doesn't fit an HHR, but guess what it does, because most GM stuff is exactly the same. Once you get the controller back to your bench, you can as violently as possible yank the controller knob out, and two screws in there are T10s. Try not to lose those like I did. Set those off to the side, and... Finish. Yeah, we're done with that. Look how melted that got. We're done with that trash. New one. Goes right in. Obviously compare them before you make it this far, but... And then probably for certain makes and models, it doesn't really matter on this one because it was already broken, but... Try to set it to off or fully on before you reinstall it to the vehicle. That way they're calibrated. I know some more vehicles are sensitive. This one obviously doesn't care. And then obviously just reconnect all your connectors as the right plugs. They only go in one way. And then before you put everything back together, make sure the airbag light sensor is plugged in. Then turn the key on. See if it works. That way you don't have to take it all apart again. was a little worried at first, but after cycling through, it calibrated itself. And then once you turn the key off, I always open up the driver's door and shut it, just to shut the power off, because... The USB charger and everything still had power at that point, so if you just open the door and shut it, it'll kill the power. Get all four screws back in. And we can start plugging stuff back in and get what they call the waterfall. That centerpiece. We'll get that plugged and snap back away. Just align the bottom first and the top will fall right into place. Easy as that. And then just double check everything works. We are good to go. 